Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I just want to start off by saying sorry if you can hear the wind or you can hear like outside noises. I've just got my window open to let some air flow because it's a really weird day. Like it's really grey and cloudy but there's also a bit of blue sky so yeah it's really all over the place. So as you guys can see by the title of this video this is going to be another video in my Christmas series this year which I'm really enjoying. Um, I'm just kind of sad that my background doesn't really reflect that. As you guys can see by the title of this video this is going to be my Christmas background bucket list. So this is just very like personal to me I guess. So I've just written down 10 things that are kind of on my Christmas like to-do list or my Christmas bucket list for every year pretty much. I've written them all down in my little trusty YouTube book so if I look down and don't specifically look at the camera then that is why. Yeah things on your bucket list might be a little bit different. Kind of like my December bucket list basically um, to kind of get ready for Christmas. So without further ado let's jump into this video. So the first thing on my Christmas bucket list every year is to buy some new Christmas decorations. So I have actually already done this for this year. I have done a whole Kmart Christmas like haul of all the decor that I bought from Kmart this year. So I will leave that video down below and in the eye as well because that was pretty much the bulk of my Christmas decor shopping this year. Usually I do like to go to a few other places but I have been quite restrictive this year because I am getting married next year so I'm trying not to spend too much. But I do actually have one other video which I think will be up by the time this video goes up of a Christmas thrift haul as well. So I have thrifted a few um, Christmas decor pieces as well this year. So again I will leave that video down below and in the eye as well because yeah I have picked up some really nice things this year for Christmas and I am excited to next year be able to go out and just really like spend up large on Christmas decor. Um, I do already have a lot of Christmas decor in storage. I am obsessed with Christmas. It is my most favorite time of the year so I really like to kind of get some new pieces every year. My kind of go-tos are like Kmart and Farmers definitely but I'm excited to kind of explore up here in Auckland a little bit more because I have noticed there are a few more shops that bring out Christmas stuff. So yeah, it's just super fun and just makes me feel very festive. The second thing on my Christmas bucket list kind of follows along from that and that is to go nuts with decorating the house. So this year I obviously can't do that because I only really have this room up here and a lot of my Christmas decor is in storage this year. But next year I'm super duper excited because Phil and I will move back in with each other after we get married and we'll have a new place to be able to decorate and if you guys have watched any of my like festive house tours over the years then you guys will know that I love to go all out with decorating and I just yeah like making things feel as festive as they can be and I really enjoy kind of like putting up the tree and like decorating it um, with different color schemes every year and I really like matching my kind of like room decor to the tree decorations and the color scheme that I'm doing. The next thing on my Christmas bucket list every year is to pick up some festive scents for kind of like the December and January period. So usually I like to go into the Body Shop and Lush. Um, I love picking up the shower gels that they release for Christmas and next year I'm hoping that our flat will have a bath so that I can do like a massive Christmas kind of like Lush haul with like the shower gels and the bath bombs. But I just love getting some new festive scents every year. So I thought I'd share with you guys what I've picked up this year because I did treat myself a little bit to um, a few festive scents. Some of them were in the Black Friday sales so I mean it saved me a bit of money so I guess I'll start with Lush. I will actually admit that a lot of the Lush scents this year were ones they brought out last year so some of them I do actually have product left over from last year. Um, I don't like Snow Fairy in the shower gel because I find it too sweet um, and I still have a body conditioner from last year so I didn't pick up any of the Snow Fairy related things even though I know that Snow Fairy is like a massive scent that everyone seems to love at Christmas time. But what I did pick up is this little shower gel. So this one is the Jolly Shower Gel from Lush. It says, have a holly jolly hot shower with warming cinnamon, invigorating cloves, and a dash of uplifting orange juice. So this 
is what it looks like. So I just picked up the little mini travel size shower gel because I do have a lot of full size ones and I don't have too many mini ones. I have a few but I know that I'll still be kind of flicking between here and Hawke's Bay quite a lot. So I really wanted to get a few more small shower gels. Like a little bit zesty. I think it's just mostly the orange juice and the cinnamon that I can smell coming through. I think this was around $11 or so for the mini size. And then I also picked up two shower gels from the body shop. If you guys have watched any of my previous like Christmas hauls or vlogmas videos throughout the past like few years and you guys know that like I always pick up the body shop shower gels specifically every year. Usually I get all three of them but this year I just picked up two of them. I actually got home and realized that I do actually have a complete plum shower gel from Christmas last year from the body shop because I ended up getting two um, and I couldn't remember if I'd finished one of them or not. So yeah I have heaps of festive scents to use now but yeah I just thought they were super nice. The packaging isn't as festive as I would like but I do like the way that it's like kind of laid out. So this one here is the Love and Plums shower gel. This one's also vegan which is really nice and then this one is Kindness and Pears which is also vegan. This one I actually think I prefer the smell of. Oh like literally just smells so good. Like almost smells like a tiny bit like grapefruity but just not as not as sweet. You can definitely smell the pear coming through but it's more of like a spicy kind of pear. I absolutely love the smell of this. I think it's so good. And then this one just smells like plums. Yeah, that one just smells like the plum scent from um, the body shop last year. So if you guys liked the plum scent last year, then you will like this one. I actually used a voucher that I had in lockdown that they were still like redeeming after all the stores opened. So I think from memory, they are like $17 each. The next thing that is on my Christmas bucket list is to make ambrosia. So ambrosia I absolutely love. Um, it is a New Zealand dessert and basically it's kind of like yogurt and cream kind of like mixed together with like chocolate, strawberries, marshmallows and some people add like other bits and pieces into it and it's just a really really nice dessert. Like I literally can't do Christmas unless there's ambrosia. It is so good. If you have not tried ambrosia please Please try it. It is so good. The next thing on my Christmas bucket list is to go and see Christmas lights. So I have kind of done this but spontaneously. There was a night that I drove home from work and there were just so many Christmas lights that were like on houses on the way home. So I kind of just like pulled over and like stopped and like looked at these houses. But it's something I love to do every year and I have found the ones here in Auckland are actually quite good. Like people don't go half ass. It makes you feel so festive and I actually can't wait for when Phil and I have a house because I think I want to like decorate the outside with lights as well. There's just something so magical about it um, and I think the last two vlogmases that I've done we've gone and looked at Christmas lights as well. The next thing on my Christmas bucket list I don't know if it will happen this year but it is usually to attend a Christmas event. So usually my go-to is Christmas in the park. I absolutely love Christmas in the park but I think just with COVID and lockdowns this year I don't think many social events are actually happening. I know there was Christmas in the park virtually online um, yesterday but I was working through like a good hour of it and then I came home and had stuff to do so I couldn't watch that but yeah usually I really like to go to some sort of event whether it is Christmas in the park, whether it is like a fiesta of lights, whether it is like a Christmas parade, whatever it is I love going to these sort of things. So hopefully 2022 they will be back. The next thing on my Christmas bucket list is to get some festive nails. So I think the past two years I have had my nails done very Christmassy. I haven't actually found a nail place that I like up here yet and I haven't really done too much exploring because like I said I'm trying to save money. So this year I haven't got Christmas nails on at the moment. I really enjoy having my nails done. It just makes me feel very put together and yeah I just always feel very festive when I have Christmas nails. The next thing on my Christmas bucket list is to listen to Christmas music. So usually I like to make a new Christmas playlist every year. If you guys don't follow me on Spotify it is just pagepie-nz. So I've got two complete Christmas playlists on there and I think I've started making a third one. I do want to finish it um, because I think when I drive home for Christmas I will just play my Christmas playlist because I actually haven't started listening to Christmas music yet. But I always love Pentatonic 
Tonics at Christmas and Michael Bublé. Those are like the two I tend to go between if I don't play like my whole playlist. Yeah, I just think it's super fun. It gets you in the festive spirit. Actually at the mall that I work at, they have been playing Christmas music over the speakers. So I've had a little dose of Christmas music this year, but not like a full dose, if you know what I mean. So we're almost done. I have two things left. So the next thing on my Christmas bucket list is to buy some Christmas treats. So again, this is something I tend to do every year. I haven't yet because I'm like here by myself, so it feels a bit weird, but I think the week before Christmas I might buy like a whole heap and then just take it to Hawke's Bay with me. I thought what could be fun for either, probably for next year actually, because I feel like this year I'm going to run out of time, but I thought it would be fun if I like ranked like New Zealand Christmas treats because I have done a video like years ago with Shelby and Anya where we tried a whole bunch of New Zealand Christmas treats. Some that we tried before, some that we hadn't. So I'll leave that video down below because I still absolutely love that video but I thought it would be fun to like rank what ones I think are worth getting and what ones I think aren't. Yeah it's just not Christmas unless there's like heaps of lollies, heaps of chocolates, heaps of little marshmallow Santas like you just need the works. And then the last thing on my Christmas bucket list and the last thing I want to share for this video is that I need to watch Home Alone. So I mentioned this in my Christmas traditions video as well but I absolutely love the first and second Home Alone. Definitely the first one I need to watch at least once a year at Christmas and I do really enjoy the second one as well. I think a part of me actually prefers the second one over the first but it's just not Christmas unless you watch Home Alone and I feel like Christmas is like the only time really to watch Home Alone because it does have all those like December and Christmassy vibes. Obviously you can watch it like during the year but I feel like you don't get the full effect. But yeah again that is still on my Christmas to-do list this year because I still haven't done that but I just feel like December has just come around so fast this year. Yeah I feel like because I'm more focused on the wedding this year rather than Christmas yeah it's just like come up so quick and because we're only just starting to come out of lockdown now I feel like things are a little bit rushed but yeah I'm still excited for Christmas. I think I'm more excited for Christmas next year when I have like a whole place to decorate with Phil. So yeah that is everything that is on my Christmas bucket list kind of like year to year. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um, and please let me know what is on your Christmas bucket lists every year. I would love to know. Um, I know I've got followers from both New Zealand and Australia and America so it would be really interesting to like hear the different things that you guys do in the festive holiday season. But yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Please make sure to turn on the notifications and check out my social media. It's always linked down below in the description box um, and if you guys have missed any of my previous Christmas videos for 2021 then I will leave my playlist down below and in the eye as well. But yeah I really hope you guys don't mind that I am not doing vlogmas this year. I actually am quite happy that I'm not doing it and I can just take a break um, and I just feel like it wouldn't be as interesting because I know that like the two weeks leading up to Christmas because I work in retail is going to be absolutely manic. Like my hours are just going to be like all over the place. Hopefully fingers crossed next year I can bring back Vlogmas and I think it'll be a bit more fun if it's Phil and I rather than just me. You guys have been really supportive so far so thank you for understanding. I think that's everything I wanted to share with you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!